All right, Shockmeister fans, we're going to watch a uh, hard-to-find early 80s horror movie that a lot of people probably haven't heard of. It's called Mongrel. Let's check it out. Our movie starts out with this guy, Ken, moving into this boarding house. That goofy guy there on the steps is Jerry. Not sure how I pronounce his name, but that's Woody, played by Mitch Pelegi. That's his girlfriend, Turquoise. You mean the same to the Claude? But you know how much I love squeezed tomatoes, turkey, honey. You want to squeeze my tomatoes, good Robert You better remember the name is Turquoise. Besides, I don't know where to go. Ken tries to befriend Jerry. There's a lot of places. So let's go to one. Jerry's a little awkward. Well, uh... As long as I can get back here real quick. Sure. Love that deep throat pinball machine. One of the tenants at this boarding house has a dog. He's not very friendly to other people. Oh, he's real friendly. Some of the guys tend to pick on Jerry a little bit, too. A little bullying going on here. Attacking somebody, Jerry's watching from the window and he's getting a little freaked out. So Woody shoots the dog. <laughs> so they go out and get a new dog, of course. A puppy. This will really chap old Jim Eliza's hours at. Yeah, don't I know it. Have you seen what that scumbag's done now? Which scumbag is that? Woody, who else? He couldn't wait. He just couldn't wait. Couldn't wait for what? He got himself a goddamn dog. So this guy's jealous of Ken, the new guy. Now I'll go ahead and spit it out. Look. I need you to help me get a Ken. He's been fooling around with Sharon and Wait, you're the one with all the battles. Sharon's a girl that he went out with a couple he's times. And he hasn't been fooling around with her, by the way. So Woody and this guy come up with a practical joke. They're going to uh, slip an envelope under Sharon's door from a quote-unquote secret admirer. Well, she's been up there waiting for you. With Sharon of the house. Now. Sharon's in my room? Yeah. Uh, gotta be careful. Of course, Sharon's not really in the room, and he undresses, and I think that's, I don't know what that was. But unfortunately, their plank, prank goes awry, because he's going to accidentally electrocute himself. Jerry finds out. Oh, no. Jerry, we killed him. It's a goddamn accident. You killed him all of him. You shut up. We only have a lot of the only friend you had. Dead. Did you think he was in love with a guy or something? You should too. Sharon's telling Jerry that they should both move out now. I don't know anyone and I don't have any money. Well, I've got a little saved. I could help you out. No. I can't take you. Alone, for heaven's sake. Not really, really. So anyway, Woody goes downstairs in the basement to check on the puppy, and he finds an inside-out mess. You bastard! I'll kill you, you punk! 
Come on in, stupid door, you miserable jerk! Dogs. It wasn't Ike. Oh, no. Wait a minute, you know who killed my dog? I heard it. Last night. Something was in the house. What? Look, I heard it. I know. It was big and it was growling. Come on, what are you trying to give me? Like an animal. Later that night, this guy gets attacked. You can't see what's attacking him, though. And whatever was done to him, it killed him. And is dragging him off. The next day, Turquoise finds the body. They call the cops, and this guy not in uniform is apparently the cop. I heard it again last night. It was in the hallway. It stopped right outside my door. I know. And here's Aldo Ray. Hey, what's going on here, Bukowski? Owner of the what house. For? Well, Mr. Bouchard, this is uh, Sergeant Samuelson. This is Mr. Bouchard. He owns the house. What are these people done now? They haven't done anything, at least as far as we know. One of your tenants has been killed. That night, Jerry hears whispers. body, but was it a dream? Hey man, what's going on? Hey Jerry, hey, Jerry, calm down. What do you saw? What's he done now? No, 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 he got Woody, I saw it. Woody? I saw it, it was terrible. Hey, let's get upstairs. They don't find Woody's Probably body. just kids. We can't find anything else. And these things happen a lot when things get in the paper like the two accidents here. But Woody. We searched the house, and we didn't find anything. And there's no evidence of anyone anywhere except the cellar door. My shotgun's all I notice. Alan Ray's mean, had enough once it's all like gone. That. Oh, yeah? You just stay here and see. I'm going to be here tomorrow evening, shotgun in hand, and you'll see who I can threaten. That guy's incredible. What's he doing around here this time of night? Uh, Turquoise hears some growling in the attic the next day. <laughs> there's Woody. And there's Jerry. Comes by. Not like that. You were just making fun of me. Like the others. That's not true, and you know it. You think I'm a fool. Hey. Pull yourself together. Now, I've got to go in there for just a minute. And when I come out. No! Kidding about his shotgun. That's the goddamn thing I ever saw. And that's the end of Mongrel. All right, I'm at a gas station, so let's talk about Mongrel. Uh, it's a movie that I have on a Paragon VHS tape. Um, 
It's not available on DVD, at least not yet, under, at least not in this country. It's under a DVD title called Horror Ghost Dog um, in the U and actually in Germany. It's only in German language though, so had to do a DVD-R of this. So this is a DVD-R with some homemade box art for Mongrel. Anyway, uh, the movie itself, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Martin. Except with instead of a vampire, we have a werewolf or some sort of dog creature in this movie. Um, we have this guy, Jerry, who's disturbed by dreams and stuff, and he thinks he's a dog, and uh, people start dying around the house. It turns out it's Jerry, um, who, I guess, manifests himself as a dog and kills people, kind of like in his... He kind of thinks he's dreaming it, but it turns out it actually is really happening in real life. And people start dying. He gets picked on by a couple other people in this house. He lives in this boarding house with uh, several other people, including this guy named Woody, who you might remember played a role in um, X Files, a TV show. I think he was the boss of uh, Gillian Anderson and um, uh, the other guy, uh, Fox and Mulder. I can't remember his name. But anyway, um, so yeah, so he has these uh, dreams, and these dreams people die. And of course, in real life, these people die too. He kind of freaks out after this new guy, Ken, moves in. And he befriends Ken. Actually, Ken befriends him. Jerry's kind of a nerdy, withdrawn guy, but Ken is nice to him. But Ken has a practical joke played on him by Woody and a couple of the other guys, and he ends up electrocuting himself um, uh, because of the prank. So he kind of freaks out over that, and he's angry and mad and uh, upset and next thing you know he's turning into a dog at night now he doesn't really turn into a dog but he does growl a little bit and he attacks people and apparently bites and scratches and whatever so kind of a weird little film here no nudity there is some violence obviously a little bit of gore the director of this movie his name is robert burns he um it's the only movie he ever directed this movie was filmed in austin texas and incidentally the uh, cop in this movie the black guy there he actually was a retired cop in real life uh, maybe he was a cop while this movie was being made i don't know but uh, he could think I think he could have been in uniform though right anyway um this robert burns was an art director on several notable horror movies uh, the howling uh, uh texas chainsaw massacre tourist trap um uh, he's got like 15 movies he was art director for, and I have like 12 of them, and they're all quality stuff, really. So, wow. So he did get around, but this is his only directorial movie. So anyway, Mongrel, like I said, not available on DVD in this country, only under the uh, horror ghost dog title in uh, Germany with the German language soundtrack. Um, but I actually like this movie. It's a... Uh, it's a little weird. It's not. Well, I guess it, I guess you could call it horror, but it's a strange little horror gem. I thought I'd seen this movie years ago, but I don't think I did. I think today was the first time I ever saw it, and I feel better. I feel like a good person for having seen it. So anyway, I recommend Mongrel. See if you can track this thing down. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. It's a cast of no one, but it's a fun movie. Check it out. Watch it. Bye.